Hey guys, it's Julia, and today I'm going to be talking about five books I want to give a second chance. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into this video. I don't really have much of an intro to talk about. So basically, all the books I'm going to be talking about today are books that I have either DNF'd halfway through or near in the near beginning, or books that I've read the first book to and just decided that I wasn't going to continue on with the second book, but now I'm thinking that maybe I want to continue on with the series. Yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. The first book that I'm going to talk about today is A Darker Shade of Magic, and I know this is like a very unpopular opinion. This book is very well-loved book by many, by the masses in the YA community and the non-YA community because this is actually an adult or new adult book. So anyway, I ended up buddy reading this with my husband last year towards the end of the year and I just didn't really love it. It was okay. It just was really kind of boring to me. There wasn't a lot going on. I mean, there was, but there wasn't. And there wasn't enough action in it. I think that this was a very character-driven story, I thought, in my own personal opinion. And I really do like more of a plot-driven story. So it just wasn't my cup of tea, I would guess that you would say. But anyway, I've decided as of lately that I might go ahead and continue on with the series because so many people just love this series and I feel like maybe there's something I'm missing. I did listen to this mostly on audiobook so I'm thinking that maybe I will go ahead and read the second book and skip the audiobook because the narrator of the audiobook was kind of, I mean it was like an English accent accented male guy. Male guy. A male guy. A male accent and male guy. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> A guy with an English accent and I just really didn't care for it and I felt like maybe it was just a little too much. I mean I get why they probably picked an English accent for this book but I just didn't really care for his voice per se. I think that that kind of swayed my opinion of this book a little bit and I don't want that. I don't I want like to actually get into the book and as of lately I haven't really been enjoying audiobooks and I've been reading wanting to read the actual book itself which for me lately is really hard to do because I am so busy but that's just gonna have to be a priority because I feel like maybe sometimes the audiobooks kind of sway my opinion of a book because, yeah. So I am going to try to read the second book here pretty soon. The next book I'm going to be trying to give a second chance to is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. This is one that I was super excited for. I bought the first and the second book at the same time because I was so excited for it. I was for sure going to love this book. Like I just knew that I was going to. And then I started listening to it on audiobook and hated it. And I do think that that has nothing to do with the story itself, but it has everything to do with the narrator of that audiobook. I hated the way that she talked. I just couldn't stand it. It was just awful. And I couldn't get myself to listen to it. There have been narrators that I've listened to and I didn't really like their voices, but I could still get through the book. Like with A Darker Shade of Magic, but this one I had to just stop listening to it and then because of that it just turned me off to the book and I couldn't read it. So now I want to reread this book. I got about a fourth of the way through of the book and then put it down so so I think I am just gonna try to reread this as the book itself. Definitely not try to listen to the audiobook again because that was a mistake. Next is another one that I read the first book to but didn't really plan on reading the second because I just didn't really like the story and that that is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Surprisingly, I don't really have an explanation why I didn't really like this book. I liked the plot of the book. I think it was mostly the characters and the way that the main character and the love interest in the book interacted in the beginning of the book. It just really hit a, a note with me, like a sour note with me because of the way that he treated her and how she fell in love with him even though he was treating her like a piece of poop. That just rubbed me the wrong way and so I I was just like, nah, I don't really care for this book, even though I did enjoy the storyline of the book. And I don't know if that's really like the best reason just to, to not like a book. I don't even remember what I ended up rating this book because I had some conflicting thoughts and I did read this quite a bit ago so I don't quite remember every single reason why I didn't like it but I think a big reason of that was because of the way that the love interest and the main character interacted and it bothered me. But I did remember really liking the way that it ended so I do kind of want to see where it goes and 
obviously like they're in a relationship now so he's not treating her how he was when it first started so we'll just kind of see how it goes I definitely think it's not okay to teach young readers that it's okay to be treated like poop and to fall in love with people who treat you like crap but I still want to try to read the second book and see where it goes because the plot was so interesting if you're a young reader do keep in mind that the way that the love interest treats the main character is not appropriate and do not I repeat do not let a man treat you like that and fall for them because there are so many men out there who will treat you good moving on okay so the next book is one that I read when I first started booktube and that is the forgetting by, by Sharon Cameron and this book I really thought I was gonna like it was one about this world where basically everybody forgets every few years and they have to write their memories in these books that they keep and they don't know why the forgetting is happening someone ends up stealing people's books and erasing the memories that they've had or that they've written in their books and then giving them books with different memories in them and the main character in the story she doesn't actually forget during the forgettings so she's trying to figure out why people are taking other people's books and changing their memories and it's very it was interesting but it was very boring so I don't know if that really contradicts itself but it was the plot was interesting but the characters were boring that's what I should be saying I didn't end up liking it that much I think I gave it a two star rating and I've decided that I want to go ahead and try to read the second one which I just found out about last month or a couple months ago when it came out and it's called The Knowing and it actually is about different characters so I don't know exactly if it talks about the same concepts and I think it takes place in the future a little bit but I am interested in picking that up and kind of seeing what ends up happening and I probably won't give it like a complete second chance like I'm gonna definitely read that book because I feel like I'm going to read maybe like the first maybe 100 pages and see if it's boring and if it is boring then I'm not going to continue to read it because this one didn't pick up until the last like three chapters of the story so definitely not about that life. Okay so the last book I have already talked about that I'm going to give a second chance and that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and I actually started reading this and I am listening to the audiobook again for this one because I just need to listen to audiobooks to get reading done these days. I don't remember exactly why I ended up putting this down. I remember thinking it was boring but as I'm re-listening to the story and rereading the story I feel like it like in remembering some of the things that I had already read I'm like well I remember this being interesting and I remember really liking this and I do really like it now so I'm curious to see why I didn't end up continuing with it because I don't know if maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to the story and it was just really detailed and I was missing some things or what but I'm actually really excited to reread this book this is one that I have told people that I just didn't really care for that much and I did DNF it but I feel like I probably probably shouldn't be telling people that I don't like this book if I haven't completed the book or really read it in the way that it needed to be read. So that is why I'm giving it a second chance. That's why I'm rereading it. I feel like there's a reason why everybody loves it so much. So I need to just try to read it again and see if maybe I missed something. So I'm only a couple chapters into rereading it, but so far so good. We'll see once we get into like the 100s because I remember I DNF'd it half like exactly halfway through like in the 200s. So so, kind of see what happens. Anyway, so that is really it for this video. I would love to hear a couple books that you'd like to give a second chance to. I'd like to hear if you have any thoughts on the books that I want to give a second chance. And that is really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.